The message is simple and now it's a matter of life and death. This is the emergency team from Royal Melbourne Hospital saying it loud and clear. We stayed at work for you, so you stay at home for us. One of the doctors behind that terrific message joins us now. Mark Putland is the Director of Emergency Medicine at Royal Melbourne Hospital. Doctor, good evening to you. Are people finally starting to take this seriously? Good evening, Peter. Yeah, look, I think they really are. Uh, we're certainly seeing a, a real downturn. Um, look, in some of our alcohol-related presentations, we're seeing less people uh, having injuries from playing sport and so forth. So I think that, that clearly shows us that people are staying home uh, and you only have to walk around the streets to see people staying home. And look, it makes an enormous difference. I think it's, it's a very rare thing that there's a health emergency where every single person can really make a difference to what happens. And this is one where you can. Yes, every single member of the population has a critical role to play. Give us an idea of how people not isolating, so defying what the orders are, affects you and your team on the front line. Look, every, every single person out there who, who doesn't take this seriously, it just puts it just it puts them at risk, it puts other people at risk, it puts my staff at risk who've got to turn up each day uh, and put themselves in harm's way to take care of sick people. But we, we, we're happy to do it. We'll never abandon the, those people who need help, but we don't want more of them than we can take care of. We can do an enormous amount of work. For, to, to, we can take care of an enormous number of, of very ill people. We're very good at taking care of respiratory disease, but we can't take care of them all at once. So we need to flatten the curve when people stay home and slow the spread of this virus. How has your emergency department changed in terms of presentations since coronavirus came into our lives? Well, the first thing is we're seeing a, a huge number of people coming for screening, for, for testing for coronavirus. That's a, a whole new part of our workload that's just become really normal in the past couple of months. Um, in the last week since we've really started to shut down things around the community, we've seen a slight downturn in our regular emergency work. Uh, and just now we're starting to see an upturn in people coming in with uh, real symptoms from, the, from coronavirus. We're starting to see positive cases. We're starting to see people becoming unwell with it. We know we're going to see a lot more of them coming. The other thing that's changed a lot is just enormous round-the-clock pre preparatory work going on. We are working flat out to, to be prepared, to have the health system prepared for when this surge hits us. OK, take your doctor hat off for just a moment. How are you coping? <laughs> How are you handling this? Are you thinking about coronavirus day and night? Look, yes. Um, uh, and there's no doubt I'd rather in some ways be doing anything else at times, but then I, I come to work and I look at the people I'm working with and I think about all the people who are at home uh, fearful, worried, isolated at the moment and I think well I, I get to come to work and work side by side with fantastic people and I get a chance to actually do something to fight this so um, I, I take gratitude for that. I take a lot of heart in that and I encourage my team to do the same. Um, and I think if, if people are at home I think they can just do their part which is, which is staying home, watching their health, watching the health of their loved ones and not letting anyone do anything foolish. I think then they can all be part of the fight with us. And how about your wife and your kids at home? How, how are they going and how do you cope when you get home and you've just got to try and wind it back for a minute and be a dad? Yeah, well, look, look, they're being very good. Uh, none of us could do it without the support teams that we've got at home. My wife's a doctor as well. She's a general practitioner in the area. So she's also sort of on the front line of this. Um, so we can understand each other a little bit, um, but there's no doubt she's doing a lot of taking care of me at the moment. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Well, I can say, Mark, we are so lucky to have people like you and your wife, all the GPs, the pharmacists, the doctors, the nurses, everyone working in our hospitals around this great nation of ours. From our hearts, thank you very much.